everyone, today's video is going to be all about safe vegetables you can feed to your rabbits. Now I've never really done any rabbit care videos so this is completely... All my sheep are blowing away. No! I should probably peg them all together, that's a good idea. So I've compiled a list of safe vegetables for rabbits and I use different sources so hopefully this will be very accurate and yeah let's get started. So I have my basket of lovely vegetables and yes yeah, some of them are fruit I guess because like cucumbers and tomatoes and stuff but just in general what we would class as vegetables. First of all we have an aubergine. Now aubergine can be fed, it is safe, however you don't want to feed the green part because it does contain something I believe called solanine, so you don't want to do that. And yeah, I've never really given this to my rabbits before, but maybe that's something I could try out with them. Ah, everything's blowing away. <laughs> Look at this bunny. So next they can have spinach. Now you want to be careful with spinach, feed it in very small quantities and not very often because it does contain oxalic acid so this is something you don't want to be feeding too often but my rabbits do enjoy it from time to time. This was not very systematic. So the next vegetable is cauliflower. Cauliflower is well tolerated and it's rich in vitamins. Obviously you want to introduce it very slowly as it can be quite a gassy food but then again, once they are used to eating this, it is well tolerated by them. Oh, you want some cauliflower? I guess like with any vegetable, you don't want to overdo it. If they've never had something before, you want to start off with a really teeny amount and then gradually over time, you can increase that quantity. Broccoli, very similar to, um, what's it called? Kind of similar to cauliflower. It is well tolerated once they got used to it and rich in vitamins such as vitamin C and vitamin A. It's also quite high in calcium so you don't want to overdo it but it is good for them and it can also help to strengthen their immune system. Chicory is meant to be a very popular rabbit food. I have personally never tried it out with mine but maybe you will want to. So chicory is a good thing to feed although it has got a lot of oxalic acid on the outer leaves so you probably want to remove those before feeding it to your rabbit. Why do I always want the thing that's right at the bottom? Next up we have pak choy. This is basically just a leafy green so it is quite low in calories and it's also very popular amongst most rabbits. Next up are endives. These can stimulate your rabbit's appetite however they should only really be fed occasionally. Endives are also rich in minerals and they can have a diuretic effect on your rabbit. Now fennel is pretty much like a medicine, it's got so many great vitamins and minerals in it and it also really helps to strengthen their immune system. It is again quite high in calcium so you do want to be quite careful there but all around is a really great food to give. I think this is like a really good health food for your rabbits and can be fed fairly often. Next up is asparagus. I don't have any to show you guys, but it does have quite a high water content and it's quite low in calories. It's something you should only give occasionally. Look at you, cheeky monkey. After the fennel. You're just helping yourself in there. She's so naughty. Okay, what else are we going to look for? I'm just going to have to open some veggies because the rabbits are going a bit crazy for the food. They've never had this before, so I'm just going to give them a small amount. You're going to jump up. You're going to show off. Come on then. Oh, how cute. <laughs> She's so gorgeous. And you are too. You're a gorgeous boy, aren't you? You like that? <gasps> He's not so sure. Gonna try it. No, that's your piece, you're meant to be in that. Do you like it? She doesn't like that bit, but she likes the leafy bit on top. Well, I'd say that was quite successful. She's gonna jump in the basket now. Turnips are really great for winter feed. So for example, if your rabbits are housed outdoors over winter, this is a good feed because it is high in calories. So it will give them that energy they need. It's also a good source of vitamin C. I know that 
rabbits, unlike guinea pigs, can synthesize their own vitamin C, whereas you know, guinea pigs need it through the source of food. You can also feed the tops of the turnip. These are high in vitamins, so I believe they are quite good to feed, but my rabbits have never tried that before. Tomatoes can be fed quite occasionally. I wouldn't feed them too much because they do have a high water content and can cause diarrhea if fed in excess. But you also want to make sure you remove the green, so you know if there's a little green stalky bit because the plant is actually poisonous to rabbits, so you want to be really careful and make sure that's all removed before feeding this to your rabbit. Next up is Jerusalem artichokes. My rabbits have never had this before. I am still incorporating more veggies into their diet because I'm slowly decreasing the amount of pellets I'm feeding. I will probably make another video on that, but yeah, I'm now trying to incorporate lots of new veggies into their diet, which is why I have been inspired to make this video basically because I've been doing a lot of research into it. So yeah, they can have Jerusalem artichokes, they can have pretty much the whole plant and also the main part itself, but I think Vinny's barking at the rabbits. The main part itself is quite starchy and it's not very easy for them to digest. It can cause intestinal problems, so do not feed this very regularly. I guess occasionally it's okay to feed and especially throughout winter it's quite a good thing to feed then. We have zucchini or what we generally call in England a courgette. So this is quite easy to digest by rabbits. They do prefer it if you peel it. It's not their favourite to be honest. Mine don't really like this. But you never know if you peel it, they might prefer it. That's what's recommended. The next vegetable you can feed to your rabbits is sweet corn. Now this, it's, uh, the sweet corn itself is very starchy, high in calories, should be fed quite rarely. Probably something quite good to feed in winter as I keep going on about. I will probably do a separate video when winter comes around the corner, you know, it'll fly by all this summer. But yeah, corn is itself is quite high in calories, so it is not something you want to be feeding too regularly, but it probably makes quite a good treat as opposed to like store bought treats. So you can also feed the leaves, make sure they are unsprayed, unfertilised, you don't want any nasty chemicals. Next up we have bell peppers and these can be fed in any colour. The peppers can strengthen their immune system although they do have quite a high water content so please don't overfeed them because obviously this could probably have bad effects on your rabbit but in moderation these are a great thing to feed your rabbits and obviously quite easily available. Now you want to remove the stalk and the seeds inside. I know I uploaded a video a while ago where I basically fed the whole thing and I wasn't aware at the time that these were unsafe for guinea pigs, you know the the green part and the seeds. Obviously the pepper itself is a great food but please remember to remove the stalk and the seeds from the inside as well. Next we have radishes. The radishes themselves are not really great for rabbits because they can cause respiratory problems so I wouldn't recommend them. However you can feed the leaves and these are containing lots of vitamins and they are also very popular with your rabbit so I recommend those over the actual radish itself. But we have very main lettuce. This has a lot of vitamins in it, it is a good feed and my rabbits absolutely love romaine lettuce and I'm surprised they're not right here now begging me for it but it should only be fed in moderation because of the water content. Next up we have beetroot, it's high in calories so you know, it's good if you're trying to get your rabbit to gain weight, but obviously if you're trying to do the opposite or trying to keep their weight, you know, at a fairly consistent weight, then you don't want to overdo it. It's got quite a lot of oxalic acid in it, so don't feed too much of this, although it has got good vitamins and minerals, so it is good to feed from time to time. Celery, you can feed like the whole thing, so the leaves and the actual celery itself. I chop it up into small pieces because it is quite stringy and I want to make it better for my rabbits to eat and so they don't get any stringy bits stuck or anything because I know what celery can be like when you try and chew it. So yeah, it is good, it's got lots of vitamins in it. So it is quite a good feed and obviously the leafy bits they really love those. Celery can also stimulate your rabbit's metabolism, so you know, all around, it's a fairly good thing to feed. Kale is the next vegetable I'm going to talk about. So this is something really good to feed in the winter months. It can strengthen their immune system, so it is good for them. High in vitamin C, it's also high in calcium, so obviously again, don't overdo it as they always say 
but yeah, it is good to feed in winter especially, but I also feed it at this time of the year and my rabbits love this stuff. Did you see Piper then? She is up to no good. She's fine on the guinea pigs. Next we have cucumber. This is very refreshing, probably quite good in the summer months to keep your rabbits hydrated, but obviously don't feed too much. It can cause diarrhea if you give them too much of this. So just in moderation, it is quite good and refreshing. I have never fed my rabbits kohlrabi, but I know you have to introduce it slowly because it can cause gas if you give them too much at once. It's generally well tolerated by rabbits and it's also high in potassium. Next we have pumpkin and it's not in season at the minute so my rabbits have never tried this and I think it's a good thing to feed because it can help if they've got brittle nails, if they've got a dull coat, it can really help improve this so I guess it is a good thing to feed but then you don't want to do it too much so yeah in winter it is good if your rabbit's kept outside. Now I know a lot of people are against feeding carrots to rabbits but I've done quite a lot of research into this and discovered that you know carrots are actually quite good for rabbits and people always go on about how much sugar they have in them but I will leave a link in the description box and you can read that up yourself and make your own opinion on it but personally I think you know in moderation anything in moderation really you don't want to do anything too much because if you feed too much of one particular thing obviously it's going to be unhealthy but um, yeah I will leave that information down below if you want to look into that you can also feed the tops of the carrots and these are quite high in calcium but also very popular. So next we have parsnips. Now parsnips are... What are you eating in there? She's getting the carrot out again. Okay, <laughs> I'll let you do that. So parsnips are a great winter feed for rabbits and my rabbits actually really love parsnip. I don't feed it too often but you know every now and again it's something really good for them to eat. Next we have squash and this is surprisingly heavy so squash is a really good thing to feed in winter now obviously you don't want to feed it too often it is quite a starchy vegetable so don't overdo it never tried it out with my rabbit so that'll be interesting to see if they like this. Do you want some cabbage? Yeah. So next we have spring greens now something scared of them. Something scared of them? Spring greens are very popular amongst most rabbits. Mine absolutely love them, as you can see. She's nibbling away on that. Do you like it? I believe most varieties of cabbage are safe. I know you can have savoy cabbage, and this is just spring greens. So I believe most varieties are safe for rabbits to eat. And I don't feed too much cabbage, but they really love it. Big Wig's quite shy, so you'll always see Piper on my knee and stuff. Whereas Big Wig will just be hiding away, bless him. So I just wanted to basically say that this video is not about all the vegetables you can feed to your rabbit. There are so many, and if I was to include every single vegetable, let's be honest, this video would go on forever. So yeah, hopefully this has just given you some ideas as to what's out there, what is safe for your rabbits, and in what quantities you should feed it. Obviously don't just watch this video and take in all my advice, I think you should look on different sources and come up with your own decision as to what's best, at least that's what I did and that worked for me. So yeah, thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed seeing the bunnies as well. So yeah, I will see you guys next time, bye!